So Mike, do you have some more to uh, thoughts about the uh, Patterson Gimlin film being a, a costume? Yeah. Um, last time we talked, I, I, I talked about how uh, Chambers had, had been suggested to be the maker and that there was uh, rumors in Hollywood. And, and the thing is that there, there's all these young guys in Hollywood, like I, like I pointed out before, who uh, these guys have an attitude. In, in the first place, they're special effects artists, so they have a, an opinion of themselves as being pretty cool because they can make these creatures for movies and stuff. And so they take a look at the Patterson film, and what do you got? You got about 50 seconds of a creature walking across. They glance at it. They they've already have a predisposition to not believe in Bigfoot because most people have been taught by the media and so forth not to believe in Bigfoot. It's a joke, you know, right? Oh, everybody knows Bigfoot's a joke. Well, so they take that attitude. They take this rumor about Chambers. They put it all together, and they'll make statements like, hell, I could do a better one myself. You know, that's, a real, that's not even a good costume. Well, that's really arrogant, that's really off-cuff, that's really not true. And the reason I say that is because there's a man who just recently entered the fray in terms of Bigfoot research. His name is Bill Munns, and Bill Munns has uh, nearly 40 years' experience in the uh, special effects industry. He's an artist, and he uh, specializes in doing creatures. He has uh, uh, made Bigfoot creatures. He made a, a, a giant life-size realistic uh, statue of a Gigantopithecus that uh, most people have seen online. There's a picture of him standing next to it. You see it all the time. The Giganto has his hand up and they, they put that in a museum. He's made other pieces that have ended up in museums. He does uh, what he calls taxidermy art where he actually makes replicas that are so realistic that people think that they're actually uh, taxidermy pieces. In other words, that a real animal is was killed and then stuffed in order to create this thing. And he was trying to sell some of his art and he had a tough time selling it because people were incensed that he was killing gorillas and things just so he could stuff them. And he hadn't done that at all. He had created the gorilla out of uh, craft materials and using his skill. And this man has now spent some time and gotten a hold of some good copies of the film and he's been working on it for a while and he's been posting on the internet and he has his own website uh, explanations for the reason that he believes that the Patterson Gimlin film is not a man in a monkey suit and this is a man with 40 years experience in the industry this is what he did for a living and still does and he has looked that thing over and he has so many reasons why it's not a guy in a suit and he's now working on creating a 3D uh, uh, recreation of the Patterson Gimlin event and he's got a hold of uh, uh, a similar camera to what he's used. He's been out to using that and he's and then he's building this uh, representation in 3D software to prove it. So here's a man in the industry. Also the first man that was ever filmed on camera who was asked what he thought about the Patterson Gimlin film who was a professional uh, costume maker uh, Janos Proposhka, I think is his last name, I've probably pronounced it wrong. Uh, he's a, he was a, a very famous uh, a gorilla costume maker back in the uh, 50s and 60s. And when he was asked, he said, oh, I, no, I, I don't think uh, that could be a man in a suit. It's, uh, it's, if it is, it's a very sophisticated costume, much more sophisticated than, uh, than anyone can do uh, right now. Uh, that kind of a thing. So. The first guy that was asked, who was an old timer in the industry, he said, I don't think it's a man in a suit. And the ones who said it were, were mostly young whippersnappers who were being cocky and who were follow, following along a, uh, um, a, a an apocryphal tale that was kind of made up by other people in the industry, in the special effects industry. Uh, because they just wanted to kind of take credit for the, for the film that fooled so many people. But like I say, there's a professional working on it. He doesn't think it's a guy in a suit either. 